everybody. Welcome back to the show. Already in progress. Well, it's Friday, and what a crazy week it's been. <laughs> Donald Trump threatened to rescind DACA unless Congress does something, and hurricanes savaged the Caribbean. Houston is still digging out. I never want to hear or see anything about that stuff again, unless doing so fills an act of my show tonight. <laughs> this is the best of this week's The Late Show. What do you like better? Ready? Made in America? Made in the USA? What do you like? You like made in the USA? Seems to be. We should pick one or the other, probably. Yeah, we should, we should definitely pick one, and then the Electoral College can pick the other. <laughs> he seems... I think that's how it works. Republicans wanted to raise the debt ceiling to cover the next 18 months? Next 18 months. So the Democrats couldn't use it as a negotiating tool before the midterm elections. Democrats wanted to cover only three months, and they convinced Trump, possibly right at this moment, when Chuck Schumer appears to be saying, who's a good president? You are. <laughs> yes, you are. You will never need. You will never need. Somebody else has a book right now. Hillary Clinton does. And uh, she remembers you from the campaign. <laughs> Bernie would announce basically the same thing, but bigger. On issue after issue, it was like he kept promising four-minute abs or even no-minute abs. Magic abs! <laughs> it's true. And faced with the choice between Hillary's daily workout plan and Bernie's no-minute abs, America went with potato ass. <laughs> Secretary Clinton ran against the most unpopular candidate in the history of this country, and she lost, and she was upset about it, and I understand that. But our job now is really not to go backwards. It is to go forwards. Are you running again? And are you prepared to be blamed next time for Trump's re-election? <laughs> Before he was elected, I... A, a sexist things would happen all the time in my life. And I kind of go, you know what? I'm fine. I don't need to unpack that. I don't need to take that apart. I'm lucky. I'm doing fine. I'm just going to... I'm just going to take that. And after he was elected, I went... I'm not going to take it anymore. The nation must set and enforce a limit on how many immigrants we admit each year, and that means all cannot be accepted. This does not mean they are bad people or that our nation disrespects or demeans them in any way. You're right, Jeff. Deporting innocent children does not mean they're bad people. It means you're a bad person. Bannon defends Trump ending DACA, even though Bannon is a Catholic and the church opposes this decision. I totally respect the Pope and I totally respect the Catholic bishops and cardinals on doctrine. This is not about doctrine. This is about the sovereignty of a nation. And in that regard, they're just another guy with an opinion. Yeah, Steve, and now that you're not at the White House, so are you. <laughs> Charlie, you're very, you're very much like the Pope. You're not the most political, but you guys talk about Trump over there? Well, all? you know, word of your political situation has reached us. Um, <laughs> uh, across the pond. Yeah, across the pond. Watching Hurricane closely, my team, which has done and is doing such a good job in Texas, is already in Florida. No rest for the weary. That's a really oddly casual way to describe exhausted first responders racing to save lives. It reminds me of FDR's Pearl Harbor speech. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, he took it, took it with a lot of aplomb. He took it easily. Yeah, he's very big about it. You they played don't. a lot of tough guys, though. You played a lot. Of, I mean, obviously, Sabretooth yeah. is a tough guy. Ray Donovan is a yeah. tough guy. Yeah. Are you a Are you a Are you a tough guy? No, you're not a tough guy. No, I don't know why I do that. So I, it's I, you know, I think it's I'm absent-minded, and I think that face of forgetting things. <laughs> <laughs> translates on film as tough. I get it. 